David and Abraham, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he's old? And here the second time he was mother womb and be born. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. More than not, did I say unto thee, ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it is, and thou hearest the sound thereof. But can it not tell which it cometh or whether it goeth? So of everyone that is born of the spirit. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel and knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, We speak that which we do know, and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our wit. If I have told you earthly things and you believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? No man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. And whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but out of every life have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth upon him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned by him. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that lies has come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are all in God. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we come before you tonight. We're thankful for your goodness. We're thankful for your mercy and your love and your long suffering. We're thankful for the days and the blessings of life. God in heaven, we acknowledge you tonight for who you are. God the Son, God the Father. God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We thank you, great creator of the world. The Son of God brought life into the world. We hold the Spirit with our company. We pray to you now. We thank you for bringing us back once again unto the house of God. Lord, we pray that you'll bless the reading of this word tonight. God, may it find a lodging place in the heart, mind, and people. God, to remind us, uh, Lord, for that men, women, boys, and girls must be born again. God, we thank you once again for the days and the blessings of life that's for this morning and now, Lord. We come to this service. It's a new service. It's a new time of worship. And help us, God, tonight to worship you in truth and in spirit. Lord, we pray tonight that you'll touch our mortal mind. Quicken us, God, tonight through your Holy Spirit. I pray that you'll anoint the congregation to the hearing of your word. God, I pray that you'll anoint these lips of clay. Help us tonight. Lord, that this is precious, precious word. Help us as we break the bread of life.
the book of John, your Bible says it's the, the gospel, simply to say the gospel of John, John, John. It's the gospel of Jesus Christ, written by John, more accurate. It's the gospel of Jesus Christ, according to John. John presents Jesus as the Christ. John presents Jesus as 100% man and 100% God. Now, all four of the gospel accounts have a different theme and a different audience. Matthew was written primarily to the Jews. If you read Matthew, he starts out with the genealogy of Jesus. Going back, going back to the beginning. It's about the branch of David. Uh, then you got to Mark, the gospel of Jesus Christ according to Mark. Mark presents Jesus in the light of being the servant of Jehovah. Luke presents him as being the son of man. He comes to seek and to save that which was lost. God presents him as the Son of God. But he's not, just not only the Son of God, he's also the Son of Man. We're coming up on the time of year when we celebrate the birth of Jesus. I try to tell all my grandchildren, all four of them, I try to remind them what Christmas is about. It's about Jesus. It's about the birth of our Savior. Uh, you ain't about all the tinsel and the, all the things. I don't know why I do love Christmas life. Uh, I drive around sometimes looking for them, Sister Jimmy. I, I like these right up here on the hill when I got out of my car. Uh, and uh, I just, I love the light. Uh, but, uh, and Jesus is the light. Uh, but uh, we need to remember the reason for the season and so gone. He's presenting Jesus as 100% God and 100% man. I like to say he's the only 200% man that ever will. <clears throat> Jesus didn't come out like this. One writer says, a preacher friend of mine said this, Jesus didn't come to sew a new patch on an old garment. He came with a robe of righteousness. And his righteousness was for whosoever we are. Jesus, his deity is revealed in every chapter of the book of John. His true identity is revealed through the titles that are given him. He's called the Word, the only begotten Son, the Lamb of God, the Son of God, the true greatest. The resurrection and the life. The true vine. If that's not enough, we have the I am statements in the book of John that Jesus uses to affirm his identity, his pre existence and eternal deity. He said, I am the bread of life. I am the life of the world. I am the door. I am the good shepherd. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the true vine. And the greatest sign of all of the deity of Jesus Christ was the resurrection. And in the book of John, he showed himself seven times to the apostles after his resurrection. So Jesus Christ simply is who he says that he is. With that in mind, we have to be mindful that <coughs> there's a lot of unbelief in the world. We are believers tonight that have accepted Jesus as our Savior. We come to a point in our life <coughs> where we pass from death unto life, where we pass from being a Unbelievers, who believe, true believers. And this is the point I believe we're 
Nicodemus is here today. You know, we can go on over the scripture. Now, I truly believe Nicodemus got saved. I really do. You know, he shows back up over in the uh, latter part of the chapter. I, I think actually it's a Jesus' resurrection. Somewhere around there in uh, But here's, G- here's Nicodemus and he's coming to Jesus. And this is to show us, really, the necessity of the new birth. Verse 3 and verse 7. says the same thing. Now I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Verse number 7, ye must be born again. Our first point will be to point out the carnality of man. The carnality of man is that fleshly lust or the desire or indulgence for those words. Sensuality, the grossness of mind, desire, the love of sensual flesh. 1 John 2, 16, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. It is not of the Father, but is of the world. I want you to know that tonight. If it's not of God, then it's of the death. If it's uh, not, if God not stamp his approval of it, then it's world. Then it's calm, it's the lust of the flesh. We have to deal with that in our mortal bodies. We have to keep that in mind. And uh, following the Spirit. <clears throat> How to talk about going out? Galatians 5, 16. This I say, then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Walking in the Spirit. Walking with Jesus. I remember it. When, uh, you remember when I made the place to work? If Dad desired to come to her, she was right there. She was a good God of the world. You know, I believe that was a lot of churches here in the mountains are a long life. But what I hear about this church is just like the church at Double Island years ago. <laughs> A lot of good godly people like him that went on to be with the Lord. I knew he was such a woman, she served the church, she worked in the church. I remember Larry at her funeral. Uh, I guess it was her daughter or one of her granddaughters. They found that little poem that she had written years ago that was called Walking with Jesus. And uh, some of them are dying, so my dad got to so a coffee on this phone. But what she talked about was walking with Jesus hand in hand. Mm-hmm. Being mindful of the Lord. And we have to be mindful of where we go, what we do, what we say, how we act. As born again children of God, because there are Nicodemuses out there looking on. Looking on at us. So we can come back to that with walking in the Spirit. We shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So there's the part out to be in mind, but then there's the condition of sinful man. Notice there in verse number one. The Bible says there was a man. This man was a Pharisee. He has a religious background. <laughs> and Jesus tells him, he must be born again. The condition of this man, Nicodemus, was not only a Pharisee, 
He was a ruler, the Bible tells us. He was a leader. And his very name means a conqueror. And he was probably of the Sanhedrin. He was of the upper crust of Jewish, in the Jewish religion. These men had to memorize scripture. I mean, they, they knew it frontwards and backwards. They lived very strictly by the law. He was a Pharisee, this man was. He was a ruler. But he had a necessity. He needed to be regenerated. The necessity of the new birth grows out of the incapacity of the natural man to see your enter into the kingdom of God. However gifted, moral, or refined the natural man is absolutely blind to spiritual truth. And even to enter the kingdom for it can neither obey, understand, nor please God. Nicodemus is lost. He was a rogue. He was a Pharisee. He was probably of the same age. But he was coming to Jesus because he knew he had an evening life. Psalms 51 5 says, Behold, I was shaken in an iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Jeremiah 17 9 says, The heart is deceitful above all things, desperately wicked, who can know it? Mark chapter number 7, verse 21 through 23 says from this, From within, out of the heart of man proceed evil thoughts, adultery, fornication, murder, theft, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, and evil eyes, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come within, come from within, and defile the man. They believe, I mean, you know what? Well, you don't have to take his life. It's already in. If they get in trouble, I, I guarantee you, if they get in trouble. If there's a crane mark down the wall and you say, who done that? They're not going to say, I, I did. <coughs> you don't have to know that because now you're young and I probably wouldn't have said I've done that either. It's in the heart of all human beings. That's the condition of a sinful man. <clears throat> First Corinthians 2, 4, 8 says, But the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God. For they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. When I was growing up, somebody came to my house for one time and they wanted him to go visit with a man that had just got out of prison. And uh, this, this fellow, he was a ruffian. He'd been in prison for a long time for a real, real bad day. And uh, my friend said he started up. He had to walk to this man's house. He lived so far, or so far back in the woods. He said, I got up there where I could see the house, and uh, he ran inside. And he said, the first thing I thought was, oh, Lord, he's going to get shot now. And he said, I went up and knocked on the door, and he said, I went in. And he said, that man was sitting there on the couch. And he said, he most important, he fell in. He told him who he was and why he was there. And uh, he said, we got on the coffee table with a little old, uh, uh, one of them little old Bibles, you can he said, Brister, I've read that thing through time and time again. He said, I can't understand. My Bible says you can't understand it because it's spiritually discerned. When you get born again, you'll be able to understand parts of that book. Spiritually discerned. Romans chapter 8, verse 7, because the carnal mind is dead to be against God, for it is not subject to the law of God. Neither can they. Well, we see the condition of sinful man, but in verse number two, we see the conviction of 
stands for man. The same came to Jesus by night. And why are you making me coming over there? I should have covered the darkness. No, Jesus. He first said, He's a man with the same neighbor. He better not get some out there messing around talking to Jesus. He waits till it's gone. And that you know, I believe this man is probably got some conviction by the end of the church. He's got some questions that he wants. Jesus answered for it. So he eases on over there after God. Find Jesus. Rich, man. Sample man. John 14, 6, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. <coughs> There's also a recognition of who man is. Romans 3, 23 says, For all of sin and come short of the glory of God. He came to Jesus by night. He said, For no man can do these miracles that thou doest itself. God, be with him. He knows there's something going on. There's something supernatural. So there's not only a recognition of who man is and who he was, but there was a recognition of who Christ was. Oh, I believe he's coming about into the new world. The spiritual birth pains have started on old Nicodemus. Recognition of who Christ is in John chapter number one and verse number twenty-five. John the Baptist cried, "The hold of the Lamb of God was taken away the sin of the world." It's a conviction of sinful man versus a conscience of sinful man. Verse number two, he said, "We know." So biblical example, if you go over to Genesis chapter number 3 and verse number 7, Adam and Eve knew. After they eat that fruit, they know. They went in and so they believed together. They hid themselves from God's presence. Adam said, I was afraid. That's a conviction, sinful man. Conscious of sinful man. Creation then of the new world. Jesus answered and said unto him, I say, believe, except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Second Corinthians 5 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away, behold, all things all become new. We're talking about the spiritual life. The spiritual things, they become new. That's the one with the new earth. Verse 3 and 4. Nicodemus says unto him, How can a man <coughs> be born when he was old? Can he enter the second time he was in his womb or before? When an infant is born, when a baby is born, it ain't got no past. It's only got a future. When you're born again by the Spirit of God, praise God, your sins are forgiven. The Bible says they're mm-hmm. cast away as far as the east is to the west. Spiritually, praise God, when we're born again, we've got a great future. But God, you know, I know we still. Sometimes remember that old simple phrase, but God's forgiven us. Say, Lamb, when a baby is born, it ain't got no price, it's only got beauty. First, the water of the birth. Then, first, the water of the birth. Verse number five. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say in the day, Except the man be born, notice this, of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. 
way can, uh, anybody can ask from God. He already sees it. Now, if, if we're not truthful with God, He already knows that we're just, we're, you know, folks, they just lie to themselves, I guess. But the Lord, he, he already knows. He already knows the Lord. Let's stand up. I appreciate what Jesus said here in this verse of the Scripture. Now, Jesus, Nicodemus came to him and said unto him, Rabbi, we know there are a piece of God, and so no man can do these miracles except do us except God be with him. Nicodemus, you know what he's doing? He paid a Jesus compliment. Jesus don't even get, don't even look on what he's saying. I mean, he says something to Nicodemus that just knocks him from off his track. Rabbi, we know there are people who go from God and no man. Can't do these miracles that thou do us except God be with us. Jesus answered the seventh angel. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the king's son. That's the proof, the whole truth, mm-hmm. nothing but the truth. Jesus just looked Nicodemus out in the eye. He knew Nicodemus was a Pharisee, he knew he was a member of the family, he knew he kept the law. He knew in his own eyes that he was a good man, but he knew deep down in his heart that he had a mommy and that he was searching for something. And Jesus just went right straight to the source and said, Nicodemus, let the man be born again. You cannot see the kingdom of God. Let's bow our heads tonight. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, I want to thank you for your work. I thank you for this work written and read Lord, now, tonight, I, personally, Lord, I don't believe there's anybody here tonight that's that lost. Lord, you know the all. Tonight, Lord, really, we just want to be reminded of what you've done and the throw Nicodemus and what you do and the truth of your word. And the Lord to remember that Men, women, boys, and girls must be born again to see the kingdom of God. And with that, Lord, help us. Help us to be wise to this lost and dying world. Help us to take this gospel, Lord, that you've given us. And uh, spread it. Help us to be, Lord, uh, through this year, through the coming year, to be more Christ-like. Help us, Lord, here in the church to love one another more. Lord, I pray for unity in the church. Keep unity in the church. Division in Christ. Help the church. Help us to love one another. God, as you love us, and as you love the church, and gave yourself for us. I pray now, Lord, that you'll dismiss us in your power and in your fear. Lord, we pray for all for all people. For our all the sick and afflicted, the bereaved and broken hearts tonight. We touch you. You know our hearts. God, now we pray that you'll give me the power of you to hear what you do for us. We'll find you, we'll pray in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you once again for coming out tonight. Remember now, we won't have no service Wednesday night. Uh, we'll be going over to the funeral home uh, for, that, uh, uh, for that event. And so, uh, I would ask you to please be praying. Uh, for that, uh, that dear lady, she, she's my age. I went to school with her. That was her dad and brother that was in the house with us. And uh, all the rest of her family, as far as I know, I still had to Yeah, uh, so uh, uh, please remember to pray for her because I, I can't imagine. And then the family that, uh, the family that the little lady six-month-old high school age. Please remember that man. Please remember.